in on the latest in gaming news. The winners of the National STEM Video Game Challenge have just been announced. The National STEM Video Game Challenge is a competition to motivate interest in science, technology, engineering, and math by tapping into the natural passion of youth for playing and making video games. Twelve students from across the U.S. in grades 5 through 8 were selected as winners of the Youth Prize for their original game design. The Youth Prize winners were selected from a group of over 500 entries for their ability to use STEM concepts to design engaging, innovative, and well-balanced games, with special recognition for those games that also incorporated STEM themes. The students will each receive an AMD-based laptop computer and educational software. A cash prize of $2,000 will also be awarded to their school or a nonprofit organization of their choice. If you love anime and Mass Effect, you'll be happy to learn that a Mass Effect anime is coming your way. A deal was just announced between EA and animation company Funimation to bring an anime version of the popular video game to fans in 2012. The anime will feature a science fiction adventure set in the vast universe filled with dangerous alien life and mysterious uncharted planets. Production is already underway. Also set for anime makeover this year is Dragon Age. They will both join Halo and Dante's Inferno in the very specific category of Western developed games that provide the basis for anime adaptations. Konami has just announced a men's clothing line based on the Metal Gear Solid game Peace Walker. Available for purchase online in the US and Canada beginning this April, the collection will include coats, sweatshirts, pants, t-shirts, and hats, all inspired by clothing worn by characters in the 2010 PSP game. Additional items in the clothing line will be released quarterly and surrounding special events throughout the year. The clothing line was created via a partnership between Konami and Muster Brand LLC, a design group whose focus is bringing digital properties out of the screen and into the real world. Hacker group Anonymous has issued an official press release apologizing for their recent attacks on the PlayStation Network. Sony has acknowledged that the PlayStation Network may have come under fire from an outside source, leading credit to the claim that the Internet's premier impersonal army Anonymous has been making good on its promise of trouble. The group's war on Sony is a response to its ongoing civil suit against hackers Geohot and Graf Chocolo. Anonymous writes that its goal was to attack Sony, not the customers of Sony, so affecting gamers would defeat the purpose of its actions. Still, Anonymous points out that it won't end its attacks against Sony until the group is satisfied with the outcome. Now for some games releasing this week. Rabbids 3D is a side-scrolling platformer coming to the Nintendo 3DS. Rabbids 3D will feature about 60 levels spread over four worlds, from the Jurassic period, Egypt, Greece, to a medieval land. Patapon 3 is a rhythm game for the PlayStation Portable and a sequel to Patapon 2. Gameplay is mostly unchanged from the previous titles, but there will be a greater focus on multiplayer. World of Tanks is a team-based MMO for PC featuring historically accurate fighting vehicles from the 1930s to the 1950s. It was released last October in Russia, where it already holds the Guinness World Record for most players online simultaneously on one MMO server. The number of players totaled over 90,000. Rio, the video game based on the movie, will be coming out to the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii, and DS. It will be a multiplayer of the party genre, similar to the Mario Party series. That's all the news I have for today. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Love and peace for my PC ears.